Hello everybody and welcome back to my Eidolon free-to-play series. So starting off, we're just kind of sitting here doing a random boss. Uh, it's the frog one and then jumping into the frog dungeon where I'm doing my weekly. Nothing too special with this dungeon. Um, so yeah, just going right ahead into more tasks being done. So I basically put these merits into the refinery salt thing even though it's not really that useful right now it doesn't really matter i'm just kind of buying the most expensive stuff as of right now so yeah um moving on we're in the gym shop and i buy one of the divinity sparky things i think right here I was thinking about getting another souped up lab thing, but oh wait, no, right here I actually buy one of the kitchens. So yeah, I buy the first kitchen upgrade. It's pretty useful. Uh, cooks faster. You know, recipes are shorter. Stuff like that. Right here I ended up getting, I think, the boost capacity. Uh, I think it was 5% as well as just taking a look at my tasks again. So right here, I've been saving up some of my googly eyes every day. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough for Maestro, just in case I needed more. Uh, but this is a loot from that. Uh, going forward, I probably won't show any of those biggie hour kills anymore unless I get something particular, like a recipe or something. But I did get the pulsation book right there, I think. And I also unlocked the trapping bubble, so I get one more trap for all of my characters because they all have the big bubbles equipped, so that's really good. And I get more trapping efficiency, which is pretty good as well. Uh, here's what my salt lick is looking like. So yeah, I don't really have the resources to upgrade most of it, but you know, I'm unlocking it right now. Uh, so right here, I ended up getting full Amarok just to do the task and it wouldn't trigger right off the bat, I don't know why, so I just kind of re-equipped it. And there it goes. And I also have some of the tokens from a lot of the World 1 stuff, uh, the Woodsman, Dogbone, and TPP, just kind of going around doing their quests. I'm sure most of you have seen a lot of those quests done. and. As far as my account progression goes, you know, I basically can just do them whenever I want. So it's not like they're too hard right now. Uh, right here, I was checking to see the achievement for the 2.5 mil for the World 3 Coliseum, but I think it might have been a Steam achievement, which is why I didn't get it. Uh, that was kind of the only reason why I did it, I think. Oh, no. Wait, did I do it? I must have done it, because I'm getting the uh, World 3 Coliseum ticket now. I, that's why I did it. Uh, I knew I could get the score, and the quicker I get easy shops and easy access, the better. Uh, right there, I ended up getting the stilts token, the scimitar stamp, and the tiki guy from the forest encampment. I got his token as well. So Scimitar Stamp is just base damage. Right here I ended up doing Killjoy for this week and I think I spend it all on uh, Holy Pearls for my Maestro. And also I ended up getting some stats as well. But yeah, I don't know if I buy them right now or not. So right here, here's another random boss. I just got some dice or die. Got a 97, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think, I don't remember if this keychain's that good or not. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it's not that great, but I think I traded off with the EXP one. So, in this next clip, I finally got 500,000 Vany Logs, which is for an achievement, and I believe it's for the World 1 shop and... Uh, Colosseum tickets, I think. I had to like, I had to like switch maps for it to like come up, or maybe I, you know what? 
yeah it's for the coliseum tickets and the shops so i've been working on that as well so you know more easy access it'll save time in the long run and yeah i've been like i said i've been buying those silver bags so yeah finally got my divine knight on my second character that's kind of what i've been using some of my time candies uh, for as well because it's going to take a while for my maestro to get to 150 and i don't really think wasting time candy or like the small ones is worth it so i just basically get all my like my first six characters i think to get them promoted and stuff so here's my elemental sorcerer uh these classes are not really that great right now i mean they help with uh like multi-kill like you definitely get more kills because you have more abilities and stuff but for right now like actively they're not really that great and they probably won't be for a long time uh so right there i ended up getting the travel task done for sailing and the firing up the grill we're etching closer to getting that last egg upgrade and we're doing some i've been doing some achievements for world 2 as well so right here we ended up getting the bubonic conjurer on my little jarhead <laughs> my little jarhead character so yeah i'm just kind of like showing off the talents uh, i'm not really going too in depth just you know, I mean, there's a wiki, there's probably guides out there and stuff. Anyways, uh, this is me making my 10th character. And I don't remember what I actually do. Uh, it's been so long already. <laughs> it's already been like a week, I think, since I recorded all this. Um, oh yeah, I recorded this because it's still a beginner and I wanted to equip the club member trophy before I chose my class because I think it would be pretty cool to just kind of have this trophy equipped for a really long time. Um, so yeah, I mean it's not, it doesn't really change anything but you know, I thought it was pretty cool so I turned him into an archer. I don't know what I'm going yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go siege breaker or not. Like I don't know if I'm going beast master or siege breaker. Um, I've heard Siege Breaker is better, but I don't know yet. Uh, right here, I ended up getting my Blood Berserker. Also, I did end up killing those crystals, and it took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I didn't get anything from them, though. But, you know, it's actually pretty good to Zerg and to get your, uh, your Elite class, because it's pretty good money. It gives you like 8 Dementia per class. Uh, right here, I ended up buying my first chip which I believe is just defense, I think, which is, oh no, it's accuracy. So, I mean, that's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, I still really need accuracy. Uh, right here, I ended up getting my first Siege Breaker. Um, again, I don't really know what I'm going to be uh, going on my other archer, but uh, Siege Breaker is pretty important because now I can kind of stack up chests and not waste them. Uh, for sailing so that's really good right here i'm just spending more merit points i could probably stop showing this off because i, I show a lot of it off every episode but it's just you know it seems like meaningful progression so i kind of keep showing it so in this next clip this is basically all i have left for pearls balloons and candies at this point of recording this clip um, so yeah I only have like two pearls and not even like 200 300 hours worth of candy um, and I basically I think I got most of the elite classes um, actually I think I got all six of them I think there's six or is there eight I don't really remember off the top of my head so right here I've just been doing divinity on all my characters um, trying to get the first two uh, gods right here I ended up getting the snake after like a couple days um, and for some reason I don't know why but I ended up linking everybody to the snake uh, even though it doesn't it's not really useful when you're doing divination or divinity um, and 
yeah, um, that's not really the god I want right now for most of my characters, so. And right here, I think I forgot, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to switch my talents back on my Siege Breaker, so I accidentally stacked up some chests. Uh, just kind of showing all of the little artifacts I've gotten so far. That Fractal Island's kind of coming in clutch with the, uh, with the better chance at artifacts uh, early on. Uh, right here, I think this is the first look at me getting the miniature soul apparatus thing, maybe? Yeah, uh, so that's the third upgrade for the auto arm thing. And quickly after, I ended up getting Arctis, which I'm going to be running for quite a while on basically all my characters right now. Um, I do switch back to the snake on like my first two because uh, I don't really think the shrine buff thing that you get in lab is really that good uh, because I already have the artifact so yeah uh, after this I probably won't be doing any divinity for quite a while uh, right here here's my 10th character I've been kind of thinking uh, what to go so I ended up going Bowman so I guess we're going siege breaker for now And yeah, uh, just more tasks. Just been kind of going around doing a little bit of things here and there. Uh, it's a lot of like groundwork, you know. It's just kind of running back and forth. I keep running out of teleports every day. Um, because that's how much I'm playing every day. So it's kind of annoying. Right here I ended up buying the, uh, the drop chance stamp from... Uh, the fish island or the trash island or whatever. Uh, I think I only have one more stamp to go and then I just need the bribes trophy and uh, I think the uh, star talent book from the island. So Yeah, getting my drop chance up uh, as soon as possible is gonna really help me out. Then I can really start doing bosses and stuff and making more gems and whatnot every day. Uh, right here I'm doing the uh, Sentinel Serial uh, achievement where you need like 50,000 in your chest because I, I think it unlocks World 2 shops maybe I want to say. Yeah, uh, World 2 shops and Coliseum tickets so a lot of easy stuff or easy access stuff happening this episode, which is really good. So yeah, in this next clip I ended up getting the talent stamp uh, for talent 4 from the Mackies. And I'm 9 levels away from 150, so we're getting kind of close to that. Uh, right here, uh, oh, this is where I finally spend my uh, Kilroy skulls or whatever, so I can go throw that uh, onto my Maestro, try to get that as soon as possible. I'll probably be saving them after I get to 150, I don't know what for, probably like my Conjurer, so I can kind of start actively doing stuff on that character, especially with alchemy and whatnot. I'm not really sure how to like get into that sort of stuff. I've never really been like behind the curve. I've always been kind of ahead of it. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, like in terms of leveling and damage and everything. So I'm not really sure what like the first thing I should be doing. Uh, right here I ended up getting Crystal Swine's token, doing his kill stuff. Um, gave me a lot of dice. None of them are too good, I don't think. I don't think there's really... I don't... Yeah, I don't... I mean, it's okay, I guess. I'm, if I didn't have any keychains, I guess I'd be fine, but... I wish you could, uh... I wish you could, like, recycle keychains for the... The, like, keychain fragment things. That'd be really cool if you could do that. Because it feels weird just, like, dropping a lot of these even if they're garbage. 
Uh, right here I ended up getting these stamps. Um, I think one of was the like golden saber thing and I'm not really sure. Uh, right here, frothy milk from Dr. Deficus. Uh, it was level 44, nothing too special. And just doing some boop stuff. Try to do this every day and I completely whiff my my ballista skills. <sighs> yeah. I do believe drop chance actually works on these guys for their bone mail, which is kind of nice. And I know giants do, or giant spawns. Uh, also, I ended up getting the trader here, which is why I was showing this off. But this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed watching me unlock the third cloud. That, that was pretty cool. Um, thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.